is the favorite Pharaoh's advocate and El Mundo will be the last to load and we're off for the Britain medical insurance handicap and the gates open and Navy Seal racing to a quick lead followed by El Mundo as Paragon quickly overtaking El Mundo for second and the favorite Pharaoh's advocate sits at the back so Navy Seal by about a length from Asparago and a further length comes El Mundo and detached at the back there by about three four lengths is Pharaoh's advocate the favorite so Navy Seal as they head towards the cemetery bend holds a slender lead of about a length and a half from Asparagon. A further length from Asparagon is El Mundo, who now quickly catches up and overtakes Asparagon. Nevisil still detached and has it all to do to justify favoritism as Nevisil is still holding firm in front. El Mundo and Asparagon are contending for their up position. But now as they enter the home straight, Navy Seal opening up a big gap to the rest. El Mundo not willing to be left. Pharaoh's advocate now being asked to join the fray here. Navy Seal on the inside. Pharaoh's advocate coming with a late charge. But Navy Seal is not going away any soon. Pharaoh's advocate challenging. But Navy Seal is not giving up. And is still going strong. Navy Seal, Pharaoh's advocate will not be able to catch up. He left too much to be done. Navy Seal has done it all. Leading from start to finish. Winning well. Navy Seal, Pharaoh's advocate as Paragon and El Mundo. That's a one-two for Dr. Patsy Sackham and the galloping geriatrics. Congratulations. And journey masses to you all as you depart. Till we meet again on the next race meeting, which will be for the Phillies Guineas, and that is on the first time. Well done. Did you hear that? What a effort in racing when he owns all four horses in the ring. Well, Richard, Richard Cabet, well done. Last ride of the day, you bought your governor a winner. Up to then, no winners for the Circum Stable, but you've come up trumps. I think the odds were pretty good, three against one. But well done, Richard. Uh, a lovely horse. You, you, you got out into the lead there, and just nothing chased you. Uh, yes, I must say, uh, at the moment, this horse is really amazing. He has been really a pleasing horse. Uh, when I jumped out, he was a very relaxed horse. He cut up like uh, he has nothing, uh, he was doing much. When I asked him in the street, he quickened very well and he won very well. So I might say thank you to the Connection Hall, uh, David Ansel, uh, Yogi, and all the Connection. Thanks a lot. Well done, and to the trainer, well done, Patsy. The you had to wait to the last race of the day, uh, but Navy SEAL is uh, a, a brilliant horse. It's paid, he's paid uh, his way in training, and he comes up with winners every season. Um, yeah, he's, 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 uh, he's come back from not running too well to really running well, but if he hits the front, he's difficult to catch. Um, yeah, I'm really, really pleased with him. Um, having had lots of seconds today, it's nice to have a winner in the last, even though we're, you know, 75% of the runners, but still, they ran well. Thank you. Yeah, great. And uh, well done, uh, the galloping geriatrics. They had trouble deciding who was going to lead this horse in. Uh, the men got tipped out and the women won it. So I'm going to just ask David because the women, uh, they'll all be gossiping here amongst themselves about that win. David, nice to see you back in Kenya. You wear the same shirt as your colors and it always brings you luck. Unfortunately, no bookmakers for you to, you know, kind of retire. But anyway, a little bit of money on the tote. All I want to do is keep doing this as long as I can. Thank you, Tom. It's a great pleasure to be here. I thank the jockey. Of course, I thank Patsy, the trainer. Uh, my wife is here, as you know. Natasha isn't here very often. So we appreciate the being here. She appreciates seeing all of her friends that she knows here for many years. And of course, you have to introduce the other geriatrics, of which we are unfortunately too many. Well, I was just going to say, Natasha, don't go away because 
You know why she's here? Because there's like six foot of snow and ice back home. So she thought, bugger this, I'm coming to Kenya. <laughs> Beautiful to be back. Absolutely amazing, especially on this uh, special race day. She flew in from New York uh, this morning, on the arrived this morning on the, the new KQ flight from direct flight from, and and it was brilliant. She was two hours late, so so if you're ever expecting somebody, expect them. They maybe they're going to come early. <laughs> well, anyway, you're lucky to have even got off the ground with all the ice in New York because it's gone back to the frozen decade there. Anna, nice to see you in here. I only come racing once a year, and it's Guinea's Day because I'm so proud to be associated with Britain, but nice for you to lead in that winner. Thank you very, very much, Tom. <laughs> it was a pleasure for me. Thanks. <laughs> You're a lady of few words. Uh, well, I mean, it was a lovely surprise that the horse did win. Uh, we expected it in a way, but I mean, it's always, you only know it after the race is over. <laughs> well done indeed. And this okay, on behalf of the Jockey Club of Kenya, Maturi, thank you very, very much. You're going to present this uh, little gift to Betty. Uh, thank you very, very, very much for your outstanding sponsorship today. It's been absolutely wonderful. It would be great if you came here every fortnight, but we do understand you have to work now and again. So the winning owners of the Galloping Geriatrics, then we have the um, winning Quebec, Richard Quebec, the winning, uh, he's not, he's coming now. The winning jockey, Richard Quebec. Well done. As they say in Calais, Mumingala. So, the winning jockey, Richard Cabet. Betty? Well done, Cabet. And one for the winning trainer who's absconded the prize giving table. Maggie Gray will take that. Patsy Circum. And um, if Betty, you'd give that to them. And then I think if everybody's got a camera, anybody's got a camera, you're going to take a photograph of the biggest cup that the Jockey Club of Kenya are about to present. This is the Nakuru Race Club Cup. It is huge. And make sure you insure it, because if that goes missing, it could be worth a lot of money. So we present that to the winning ladies, the Galloping Geriatrics. Well done, ladies. I mean, you might be lucky to get a cup of tea out of that. But then I suppose the Nakuru Race Club Cup must have uh, been the last one on the shelf as they closed down. And that was left, which they donated to the Jockey Club. I know even Britain could have come with a bigger cup than that. So thank you very much.